fucking. Well, I'll tell you, nobody believes the rabbi dick sucking thing. That yeah, they're giving babies herpes. I tell people that, and they're like, "Shut up, man!" I'm like, right. "It's fucking it's real. True, yeah, it's real." Coming from you, it's tough it's to believe. True. I don't that know. Ra- you say the phrase "rabbis are sucking children's dicks," <laughs> and they're supposed to believe yeah. you in your Mountain Dew shirt, <laughs> in your fucking it's just self-made your cut-off fact. House of Cards T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, there was another thing people didn't believe. Me. You know, Coco the gorilla. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Coco the gorilla, when they would introduce new female researchers to the gorilla, Coco would demand to see their breasts and play with their nipples, and the handlers would be like, "I mean, you got to do what she says. She's an eight hundred pound gorilla." And so these uh, multiple women were like sexually assaulted by really? by Coco the gorilla, and I've told numerous people that, and they're like. That's not true. Is well, that we, true? You for told real? me that dolphin story. I was like, Nick, what dolphin just, story? The thing about that, they were trying to like, they filled a house like. Oh, the CIA. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah, a great story. Yeah. Well, it wasn't CIA. I looked it no, up. It was, it was somewhat CIA it was some government. Funded. It was like it was a government thing. Yeah. There was government funding, but it was like a. Reason, they cut the, a they cut the something. funding when they put the dolphin. Uh, okay, so the, for the listeners, <laughs> here's the story. In the 1950s, and that's important because this is after. Like we won World War Two. <laughs> right, oh right. yeah, yeah. This is after. <laughs> There's no reason for any kind of like bizarre, you know, right, right, right. experiment. No, we like were this. riding high. I mean, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. like, let's fuck well, around with we, dolphins. The Ruskies were coming out yeah. next. So okay, so this is like the era where there, you know, like there was that plan to freeze bats and attach fire bombs to them <laughs> and like uh, that was like another plan uh, <laughs> 9-11 bats yeah they're, they're gonna freeze bats <laughs> and then uh, like attach fire bombs to them and drop them so that they would wake up mid-flight and then you know start spreading fire everywhere that's hilarious or, or you know sorry that they would nest they would nest and then explode or some shit I don't know right, something retarded yeah so there was this uh, experiment where somebody hypothesized that Dolphins were intelligent enough to speak English, <laughs> um, and the pro- the problem is because is, they have advanced hearing. Yeah, like, they have advanced hearing, and they're also you know, they have smart. They're they're, they're emotionally smart. intelligent. Yeah. They rate but the each issue other. Was is like you know you don't know how to teach a dolphin English, so they thought like the answer was just complete immersion. So they developed this house. It's like a specially designed house where it could be flooded about the waist height. And they put this woman who agreed to, like, you know, be in the house. She was a research assistant. Okay, yeah. yeah. So a research assistant, um, which in those days, indistinguishable from magician's assistant. (laughs) Pretty much the same fucking job. Sometimes you'd be working with graduated cylinders. Sometimes you just get cut in half. Uh, So uh, they had this research assistant volunteer to, to live in this house that's flooded halfway with water with, like, a dolphin. That and they were like, yeah, just talk to the dolphin all the time, and you know, let us know if he starts speaking. <laughs> that, that, was, was the- <laughs> that was the plan, and so of course nothing happened. Of course, and uh, well, the dolphin's also a young dolphin, so it started going through adolescence. All right, well, th- nothing happens. So what they do next is they're like, all right. Uh, and then again, this is the 1950s, and it's like I think I'm pretty sure it was attached to the CIA. It might have been an independent study, but there was like CIA money or something involved in it. Yeah, and uh, just say it was CIA. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. This so is the fucking CIA, man. So it's the 50s. So of course they were like, okay, well we're gonna put you on acid. We're gonna <laughs> give you LSD, and then we're gonna see what happens. And the fucking. Uh, Eventually, they're both on acid, and the dolphin starts like rubbing against the woman's this like is legs. Where you're wrong. What do you mean? So the dolphin is like uh, an adolescent, right? So it starts getting horny. This is before they put them on acid. Okay. So he starts making it sexual. No, they put the put the, them on acid, and then they started fucking. No, they didn't fuck. I think she jacked him off. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, she <laughs> sucked the dolphin's dick and jacked it off. I mean, she sucked him off. So the dolphin was like started getting horny. And started taking a liking to the research assistant. Of course, she was So hot. at first, he'd like, just titties. bite her ankles. And he found out that that would piss her off. So then he was like, all right, you know, I can't go in so aggressive. So he started <laughs> trying to be sexy with her. Uh-huh. And, like slowly sliding the side of himself off, like against her leg and stuff. Uh-huh. And trying to be like real sexy. Did you read like, the like erotic novelization <laughs> of this fucking story. No, it's true. It's like a paragraph long. It's like, yeah. No, because you told me when you were like probably blackout drunk, I was like, Nick made up the stupidest story about this lady <laughs> jacking off a dolphin. And then I looked it up and I'm like, holy shit, he's absolutely right. So remember, okay. remember when Andrew Bucket admitted that he was molested <laughs> in junior what? high? <laughs> Are we talking and then, about this on the podcast? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he admitted that. Yeah, yeah. 
think well, he was no, doing he a did bit. A, he did a joke, oh, but he it was fell doing flat. a bit that he, fell he, flat. He, he, he no sold it, and then we were like, "Did you get molested?" And he's like, I, I, "I don't know." And then we didn't talk about it for a year. We just assumed what was he had the been bit? molested. So we were like, "Yeah, we we're getting high." <laughs> we we're like at my old apartment. <laughs> Wait, a pot just. In the room, not on stage. In the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just sitting around okay. talking. We're smoking weed, and then he was like, "Um, he's like, yeah, w- it's yeah, weird I- how gym teachers are also the school nurse sometimes." <laughs> and we're like, "That's not true." And he was like, "Well, you know, they would like make you do like a testicular exam every day." And we we're like, "Every day? No. What are you talking about?" And then he was like, "Yeah, that's what that's what Craig told me. My gym teacher, he used to let me call him by by his first name." That's yeah, gotta like, be a bit. He didn't even. Yeah, I mean, he he was joking, but the way he told he it, he sold it. He so was well. fucked up, but you know, he's always yeah, oh, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was after seven yeah, p.m. We were like, "That's not normal, dude. Were you fucking molested?" And no, I think we changed the subject. Yeah, yeah. we felt so bad. Yeah, we just had to change. Oh the subject. shit! Really? Yeah. Damn, so Bucket might have got molested. Shouts out Andrew Bucket. No, because he <laughs> asked him. Adam asked him about it after. I asked him about it after, and I think he said he was doing a bit. But how much funnier it would be if he got molested? Hopefully he did, and we just talked about it on the podcast. No, cause that's what we were talking about. Yeah. No, we were talking about how they used to do um, scoliosis testing. By yeah. putting a couple phones like, in your ass? Making the, the nurse would make you bend over in front of her. Yeah. And then she'd like look at your spine and see as you bent over. Like, if it was and it was so embarrassing if you just had diarrhea in the nurse's face. <laughs> just spray. Ray diary all over the <laughs> Well, my friend face. got suspe- suspended because he, he told the nurse, he did like a retarded voice. He goes, scoliosis in my butthole. <laughs> made no sense. That's a good bit. Yeah. That's was, a classic elementary school yeah, bit. Yeah, you know pretty, how they had like extra good. clothes in the nurse's office in case you like shit yourself? Did you know that? No, oh, yeah. Know. Well, you'd wear PE clothes when well, you shit yourself. I, I, I mean, I remember that they had extra clothes, clothes in the nurse's office in elementary school for people to shit themselves. Mm. Um, but those had to have been just clothes that someone else pr- had pr- previously, previously shitted yeah, yeah, and got bleached. And then they've cleaned, and then you're just wearing secondhand shitted. You take <laughs> off shitted clothes to put on other it shitted clothes. It keeps refreshing itself. There's this kid yeah. we went to second grade with, this kid Eric Ross, who shit his pants. And um, literally everyone from that second grade, like he's a, he's get, he got an MD, PhD. Which meant he went, to, he went to he went to medical school for four years and then a PhD in science for four years, and literally everyone I know it was like a small private school. I keep in touch with some of them. Are like, oh yeah, you mean Eric who shit his fucking pants? <laughs> <laughs> like no matter how accomplished <laughs> he is in his life, he'll always be the dude That's that shit his funny. fucking pants and then cried about it like a bitch, dude. <laughs> like, like, well, um, so there's this guy Scott that used to. I mean. I think he used to date my sister or my stepsister. I can't remember. Did he fuck her? I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> nice. But, uh, well, I don't know. I knew him. I knew him. Me and Adam high five. I knew him. We had like a, a mutual friend circle or whatever. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, so he was at a party one time and I wasn't there, but he was at a party and he like went into the bathroom and he was all fucking drunk and he like locks the door. This is in his house. He like locks uh-huh. the door to the bathroom and people are like pounding on the door and like trying to get him to come out. And he won't come out. And eventually they just knock down the, the door to the bathroom or whatever. And he's in there and he's completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> and he's ripped off. It's like one of those sliding doors to the shower. He's ripped the door off the shower and he's using it to cover himself. Oh and the God. toilet's all backed up because he's tried to like flush all his clothes down the toilet. Because oh. he like shit himself or whatever. And they were like, just go home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so like, he like, destroyed this bathroom, destroyed the toilet, shit himself. Very embarrassing. Embarrassing. And then, like, I don't know, two years after that, there was one night where me and, and like, all my friends are hanging out, and Scott's there, and I was there with, uh, yeah, my friend, like, Danny, and Danny was trying to, like, hook up with this girl, Alexa, and we were all hanging out, and uh, we were walking around, and Scott was, like, really hitting it off with Alexa. Oh, really? And Danny's there, and he's, like, bummed about it, and uh, we're, like, walking, and Danny just says to me, he's like, I got. I guess you just have to do it. Uh, hey Scott, remember when you like shit your pants at that party <laughs> and then fucking like left? And Scott's like, yeah, yeah man, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I just love the way Danny was like, That's hilarious. yeah, I guess I have to do the it. The nuclear option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Did, did Scott? Uh, did who I fucked Alexa? I don't remember. I don't think either of them did. But that Bummer. was that was so funny the way. You, yeah. <laughs> I guess I well, have to do it. No other options. <laughs> I yeah, can't yeah, just yeah. be a human being and not humiliate him. One time, yeah, I, that guy died. Which one? Danny. What the one that did it. The one that said, not the oh, shit pants. Well, he died of shitting his pants. No, he died of like an overdose. 
karma. Like oh, the guy, year. the mean guy. He wasn't mean. He was actually a very nice guy. I thought it was funny. That's hilarious. I thought it was very funny. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah. I, uh, I mean, it's okay because he's dead. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes up for anything bad you do. Rest in peace, dude. One <laughs> percent of the Petraean money is going to go to his family. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's not, but it might. Mine will. I'm going to give one percent of my zero dollars to. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, one time I was, uh, at a fucking high, it was like the the year after high school. It was like that summer after, you know, after a year about to go into college. Or maybe summer. it was the summer going into second year college, whatever. And every, so this girl's, my friend Anna's having a big party and I'm getting so fucking hammered. I'm just like chug, you know, I'm just trying to be cool and like yeah. drink way too much. Like chug a bottle, a whole bottle of liquor. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking good, man. I'm a fucking mm. cool guy. And I completely black out. And all I remember is like I'm I'm I I black out for a while and I remember like people shaking me awake. I'm laying down on her deck smoking a blunt that I don't know where it came from. And they're and I'm holding a pop tart in my hand and they're like, "Stop! Did you shit and throw up all over the bathroom?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, it wasn't fucking me." And I'm holding up a, a strawberry pop tart. There was a trail of pop tart from the bathroom to the deck. Wait, you're eating while you're shitting? I don't. I mean, I don't fucking know. That's I just, so funny. I just know that I was like, "No, it wasn't me." And there's a like cartoon trail of pop tart. <laughs> To this fucking so deck, good. and I still denied it. And then I just threw, and then I, I just woke up in, and then all I remember is waking up in my fucking parents' house in jorts, which, uh, no underwear. And then Anna found, the, my underwear was in her neighbor's tree, covered <laughs> in throw up. <laughs> just fucking, I just thrown it <laughs> off her fucking deck. Yeah, I've never shit myself. I've definitely thrown up all over myself yeah. numerous times while drunk, but I've never shit myself. Yeah, dude. Uh, and not only did funny. I do that, but when I, when, in her bathroom, I like, I was holding on to the shower or something yeah. and like grabbed the pipe and it was there was a the only reason they even saw the bathroom is because the, her fucking downstairs started flooding because <laughs> I fucking ripped a pipe out of the wall and I ripped oh the shower God. curtain and I was just laying on her fucking deck I did that in my mom's apartment when I was like 15 shouts out to I was Anna. like all fucking like drunk or whatever and like tried to take a shower and just just trash the bathroom. Just ripped the fucking. It was like the shower curtain rod was yeah, one of the yeah. ones that attaches to the wall. I just ripped all the drywall out. <laughs> <laughs> just destroyed. Knocked all this shit over. She was like, "Were you drunk?" And I was like, oh, "No." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just had trouble getting into the shower. <laughs> I just do that for fun. <laughs> I just destroyed the house because I felt like it, bitch. Get off my fucking back. Uh, I have man. ADD, mom. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. ADHD. <laughs> I'm fucking. The I'm school ADHD, system says you're not allowed to be mean to me. I don't have to do homework. <laughs> they put me in a special class for people who don't have to do homework <laughs> because we have potential. <laughs> I'm in a special potential class for kids that don't understand how to read. <laughs> 